Hi, and welcome back to Tony's Cool Tools. If it's your first time, thanks for stopping. For those of you who regularly watch my channel, on video 69, I showed you the Mazdam Power Puller, an awesome tool for a one-man operation. Very economical. The only drawback is the length of rope that you have. But beyond that, it's excellent at getting you out of trouble, such as tensioning a tree or pulling something like your UTV into your trailer if it's disabled. It's an awesome setup here. But I'm going to show you something that puts this on steroids. So this is the portable winch. It takes your firewood and logging operations to the next level. Super light, weighing in at 26 pounds, but it's a powerhouse. It'll pull up to 2,200 pounds. So this is the portable winch made by the Portable Winch Company in Canada, our northern brothers. So tell me, how many times have you cut a tree down and it's 30 to 40 yards away from the road? And you typically have to buck it up and lift it all out or carry it, have wheelbarrows or some way of bringing it from where you cut it to all the way to your truck. Well, this thing here is going to save you time and your back. And I'll show you in a little while how. And as a bonus, if you watch to the end, you're going to see a celebrity that you might know using this. And he'll give his thoughts on this tool. The other great use for the portable winch is for directional felling. How many times do we have a leaner going the way we don't want it to go and we want to pull it in the opposite direction? And wedges just aren't going to work. This tool here will get that leaner to go in the direction you want it to go. So the thing that does the magic is the capstan winch right here. So by using a rope around the capstan winch and causing friction, it helps you pull the object that you want in. The portable winch is a multifunctional tool and there's many uses for this. Naturally, forestry is the number one in my book for this tool. However, hunting is another big one. Up in Canada, they use these small portable winches when they harvest a moose and have to move it five, six hundred yards, the only limitation they have is the length of your rope. That's it. You can pull anything with it. The other benefit for this tool is rescue. If you have a UTV or ATV that's stuck, you can pull it out by yourself with no problem. Fire and rescue squads also use this tool for emergency purposes. If someone has fallen off of a cliff and has to be brought up, they can use a basket and winch this back up easily. One of the last benefits for this is cottage living. And let me explain that. For many of you, you have a second house up on a lake somewhere. And if you have a dock that is on wheels and you want to roll it up at the end of the season so you don't have it frozen in, you can use this and it pulls that dock out easily. Now we'll be discussing this specific model, which is the PCW4000A. It has a pulling capacity of 22,000 pounds, but the Portable Winch Company also makes multiple models. They make the PCW3000, which is rated at 1,600 pounds, and they also make a battery version of the, of the PCW3000, and that is the PCW3000LI. It has an 80-volt battery for it. However, it can pull up to 2,200 pounds. And lastly, they make the PCW5000, which is rated at 2,200 pounds. And Portable Winch also makes an industrial version of this. So before we go out and have some fun with this, let me give you the specs on this PCW4000A. It uses the Honda four-stroke GX50 engine. So you don't need to mix oil and gas anymore. And it's unbelievable that this engine weighing in at only 26 and a half pounds can lift up to 2,200 pounds. If you're working in areas that have fire restriction, it does have a spark arrestor. Now, one of the cool things about the GX50 engine is that you can tip it sideways and it won't kill. It's similar to a chainsaw. You can move it in any direction and it won't kill. And typical of Honda engines, it's extremely quiet. At idle, it's at about 95 decibels. When you put a load on it, it's at 108. You definitely would need some hearing protection when you're working with it though. And as I mentioned earlier, you can do a straight line pull of 2,200 pounds with this winch. However, by adding pulleys and snatch blocks, 
you can multiply that times five. And the fuel tank on this is 21.3 ounces, which will go a long time before you need to refill it. And this winch uses 10 millimeter rope or 3 8 rope. Now you can use up to 13 millimeter or half inch rope on it as well. And this is double braided polyester rope. And I wouldn't recommend using other ropes other than the double braid polyester because it does cause friction and it might melt your other rope on the capstan winch. And one thing about the rope, when you get it, it comes really nice and clean. It does work better when it's dirty. So if you take it out and you stomp it on the ground a little bit and get it a little bit dirty, it will work better for you. But not too dirty because then you're going to have to wash it. This capstan winch here is 46 millimeter, which translates to 44 feet per minute. Now that may seem slow, but I'll tell you, it goes fast. And the PCW4000 comes with this rope break or anti-rollback device right over here. It's extremely important when you're tensioning a tree and you're there by yourself and you don't have anyone to hold the rope, this will lock that rope in and it tensions the tree so you can make your face cut and then you can go back and pull on this some more. It'll be tensioned the whole time. We'll be showing that feature later on when we're bringing some trees in. So the Portable Winch Company makes multiple different kits. I happen to have the PCW4000A plus the forestry kit and I'll show you the content of it. First, naturally, you get the winch, the PCW4000. In addition to that, you get 164 feet of the 3 8 or 10 millimeter rope. You get a rope bag, and it does have pockets here to store all your carabiners and other accessories. It does come with two different slings. One sling here is for the tree or tree protectors and this is a two inch wide web with double ends on it and you'll see that in use and then a continuous loop sling here as you can see here and this is six eight feet this one is six feet or six and a half feet so you have options there depending on the width of your tree that you're trying to go around it also comes with a safety hook with a latch A snatch block here, a 3 8 snatch block. Two carabiners, two locking carabiners. This device is cool, we'll explain it in a second. It's called the Rope Wiser. And naturally you get instructions for both the PCW 4000 winch and the Honda engine. And if you order the additional forestry kit, here's what it comes with. An additional two inch strap, a tree strap. It comes with a safety hook with this, these three loops of chain and I'll explain how they work. And all this is, is when you have your chain here, you lock it in, push this forward and it won't come out. Real easy and real convenient so you don't have to keep running in and hooking it back up. Look, and the first thing you wanna do, this one was straight, but the first thing you wanna do when you get this is take a piece of wood, put it around it, and press it. You wanna be able to get something like that so that when you go underneath the log, it's easier. And you get a 13 millimeter snatch block, or half inch snatch block. And in my opinion, the heart of the forestry kit is this cone right here. It makes your skidding go so easy. You can hit stumps, you can hit logs, rocks, and everything, and it glides right over. All you do is you take your chain, you choker your log, you, they take the end part here, wind it through the hole in there, stick this on the end, and start pulling. That's as easy as it gets, and we'll show you shortly. And as I mentioned earlier, the kit comes with this device called a rope wiser. And Portable Winch designed this to help retain the full strength of the rope. And let me explain why. I'll bring you in closer. My go-to knot when I'm tying one is the bowline, either a single bowline or a double bowline. It's super easy to tie and it's really strong. But one of the problems is anytime you put a knot on a rope, you lose between 30 and 50% of the strength. This rope is rated at about 5,800 pounds for breaking. And if you take 
20%, let's just say, off of it, that's about 970 pounds. So you're losing that much strength by putting this knot in. The rope wiser here gives you 100% of your rope strength. Let me show you how it works. It's really easy in that all you do is there's two holes in it, you feed it through one end, put it through the second one, give yourself plenty of rope here, let me pull that, put this over the top, roll it in here, three times, one, two, and three, and then you just pull this and it locks that all in, and I'd make a shorter tail on here, but you get the idea. You get full strength of the rope. After you're through tying the rope wiser, all you do is you take your carabiner, put it through the hole, lock it, and you're ready to winch your logs to the landing. Here's a real quick rope tip for you. If you have 164 feet of rope out and you're trying to put it back in the bag, not the easiest thing to do. So what do you do? Grab yourself a carabiner, hook it onto your belt loop of your jeans, open up the gate, put the rope in, and just pile it in quickly. You're using both hands and it goes very quickly. When you get a bunch of it up here, Tap it down and just continue until you get to the end. Here's another feature of the portable winch, and that's rescue and recovery. I had mentioned that earlier. What if your tractor breaks down? You have to get it on the trailer somehow, and the portable winch will do that for you. Let me show you. I've gone ahead and hooked up the endless loop lines right here to the frame of the trailer, and I've put four loops around the capstan winch and it'll go through the rope break right here and should bring that tractor right up on the trailer with no problems. I've also chucked the wheel so there's no issue of it moving forward. Oh, and here's one other thing. I installed the snatch block here, the 3 8 snatch block that comes with the kit so I could get additional pulling power. Here we go. And that's how easy it is. And with the holdback device, that's not going anywhere until I release that rope. So I've given you the specs on the uh, PCW4000A. Now we're gonna put it into action. But before we do, I'm gonna bring in a celebrity I told you I was going to have, and here he is. Oh, oh my God, you broke my <laughs> tailgate. Jeez. So we're, where are we? We are on my old best friend's land. The now, guy, is that one old best friend or two? This was my old best friend. This is the guy you replaced. Oh, okay. Then you got replaced by Jeremy. That's true. Jeremy That's has true. an elk and you don't have any elk. That's so true. That. You change friends like <laughs> underwear quickly. Oh, no. Only about once a month. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, now we're going to show you how this PCW works. PCW 4000. It's awesome. You'll see it momentarily. I think we'll use this tree here as the anchor first and set it up. And we're using our tree saver here. And all we're going to do is position it 
So we're close. We just hook it up to the two supplied hooks here. And we are ready to go. So let's go to the opposite side and put the rope on. So Chris, here's the heart of the system. This big sled right here, whoop. This big sled right here. All we do is we hook the chain onto this log, which fortunately you got it supported up. We're gonna put that. a- I did that. I, I know you specifically that. did that. You, you looked at it far in advance. Yeah. And then we're gonna put this cone right on, underneath it. And as you can see, all the debris that's over there, it's gonna glide right over the top. It's not gonna jam inside. So let's put the chain on. Now, as far as this chain is concerned, it comes with a C-hook on it. So when you install this, you wanna make sure that your C-hook is facing towards the back, like that. Yep. And then, you use the front part with the spike to go underneath here. And we're pretty close. Now here's one other thing on, let me grab the chain. This is another part here that has a connector that really locks it in. So we put this on here. It's not gonna come off. Slide this back up and it locks in. So nothing's gonna come apart. Slippery and greased all day. Yes, and now all we do is grab our bag and walk away. So let's hook it up to the PCW 4000. All right, Chris, we're ready to start pulling it. We've attached our winch already earlier. Now all we do is we brought the rope in, we put it down through the bottom hook here, underneath on the capstan winch, three to four times minimum, four is better. And then we're gonna bring it up here along this S hook and lock it into these gears right here. And we are ready to go. One of the things I wanted to point out, as you can see, I'm still under tension here. That's because these little uh, knurled knobs here are holding the rope. They're like cammed. Correct. The nice thing about this too is the fact that if you want to do directional felling and you're by yourself and you want to put a little tension on it, you can easily, it'll tension the tree. You could go and put your notch in. This is ready to, uh, ready tension. You can just pull the whole tree over after you're through. So now we're going to, now that we got it this far, we don't want to carry this that long. So we're going to take it all the way to the road. 
and then we'll cut it at the road so we don't have to lift it that far. So you're going to go reattach it up to the back of the truck? Yes. I like it. All right, Chris, one, th one adapter that uh, Portable Winch makes is this on-the-ball adapter. Now, it doesn't come with either the standard PCW 4000 or the, um, the tree, the logger's tree kit. This you buy, have to buy separately, but it goes right over it, and it's great for your ATV as well. And then this just snaps right on, right over here, and over there, and it sits right on there. And now we're able to pull the rest of the tree. We don't want to go, we don't want to have to walk that much further. So we're going to bring that whole tree right over here. All right, Chris, we're going to take it all the way to the truck now. And as you know, we're going to hit this tree and you'll see how important that cone is. So all I do is grab my rope back here, walk to the vehicle. We're ready to start pulling. Turn the unit on. What'd you think of that? Thank you. I like my new toy. Uh, of course. <laughs> We're doing a straight line pull on this with no pulleys. So actually we can pull 2,200 pounds. But as you can see, we've got this stump to contend with right here. And this cone should go right over the top and save us. If you were just using a pulley in your truck to pull this out, you'd definitely hit that without that cone. And what you would have to do then is trim the stump. Right, taper it. Taper it so you could slide up and over. That's it. This just saves a step. So, so now I'm just going to go to the car, start it up, and pull this out. <laughs> How much easier does it get? All right, so we spent 12 hours here 
and the PCW 4000 is worth its weight in gold. Here's what we got. Lots of wood. We've got one uh, 6 by 12 trailer here full of dry wood, and that's only one. And now here is the second one. This one's a little bit overloaded. I have an extra row. Yes, he does have an extra row here of 2 by 12s but that's what we're looking at. And here is the carnage that we have done. Opened up this whole pasture area here. Yep. So we've got a bunch to cut over here and a lot to cut that way. See, yeah, you do. You, may, you really do. We may be cut. Yeah, you really do. Yeah, we, <laughs> you're done. Um, we may be cut. 10%, 15% of what's yeah. going if that. Amazing. So back to work we go. Yep. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video on the PCW 4000 and its many uses. It truly is a versatile tool, both in the wood yard, your farm, or your homestead. So if you've enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and give me a thumbs up as well. And remember, pass it forward. Make the world a better place. And don't be a tool. Watch Tony's Cool Tools. Until I see you next time, have a great one.